only crew that has served me is Blackbeard. Every sailor on his ship holds 10 pounds of gold for his name. I'll split it all with you. <laughs> You'll split nothing. Blackbeard's gold is but a tail for luring in fools. But I suppose if you join, you'd be one less filthy scoundrel on this island. Wait! No! You can speak before I cut your tongue! Sorry. Does a fearsome pirate Edward Kenway who did this to me? Too much of a coward to finish the job. Taken from the man himself. This was not quite a year ago. Our merchant vessel was anchored off the coast. I kept him. He's too concerned with lining his pockets. Let's place more men on watch. No bounds. Hold your tongue, or these negotiations are over. Cancel it. That is my offer. Two thousand pounds for the black powder is simply the cost of doing business in this economy. Does His Majesty seal me nothing to you? I'm guaranteed a deal. Our harbour will be defenceless without it. Exactly. And that is why the price is two thousand pounds. The economy. When pirates murder the village in its sleep. The blood will be on your hands! Traitor! No, that should be your fault, not mine. Let's go to move the ship. Captain! Oh, I, I 
damn fuses. I can't reach. Oh, damn your fuses. Now do something, damn it. I've got it. Perhaps we should forego the weapons and assault the ship with the wretched stench of your burning beard. Offended by a little stink? <coughs> You're in the wrong profession. Thatch, I'm not impressed. Oh. Your men have been out of gunpowder for a month. Their pistols are useless. Your grenades are nothing but empty shells. And yet, we took the ship without firing a single shot. If those sailors were to revolt, we would have been vastly outgunned. Edward, the day that I'm forced to use my weapons will surely be my last. Good pirates aren't only fighters. They're showmen. And we are the best. No, the best are always prepared. There are years beyond these walls. Stow your doubts before you inspire a mutiny. Now, let's go and get that captain. Sweat, bleed, and break your bones, but for a pittance from the crown and your captain. They vilify us, those scoundrels do. Yet they rob the poor under the cover of law, while we plunder the rich with the strength of our own courage. <laughs> Would you not better make one of us than sneak after the asses of these villains? for employment. Listen not to his words! You dare to draw your captain! You killed me, brother! Was lost that day, except for the vessel herself. Our crew was decimated. We suffered a terrible defeat. There was, however, one victory to be had at the end of the battle. Watching the lifeless corpses of the pirates. 
pirates we captured hang at the gallows. Your rotten stench wasn't hard to find. You haven't had a thing, have you? Where's your friend now? Where are his venomous words? Save your pitiful ass! Thought this time I'd bring something deadlier than words. How I would have done it, Eddie. Well, to each their own. <laughs>